brand new Aorus 3080. It's revision 2. Just came out. Is it going to be a light hash rate car? I don't know. And how is it going to perform? Let's unbox it together and take a look, see? RTX 3080 Revision 2 from Gigabyte just released end of May 2021. How is it going to perform for gaming? I'm sure it's going to be off the hook, but how is it going to perform for mining and other people who do it? Well, let's see, this is the brand new Revision 2. Does it have any light hash rate on it that NVIDIA has been a proponent of? Let's open it up. Let's take a look. Revision 2. Key thing I'm noticing it right off the bat is this new card has three PCIe ports where the original Masters card had only two. And there was some talk about it didn't have the enough power to really guide it to full potential like the extreme but this one is a three PCI card. The other thing too you can't help but notice right off the way this card is big compared to many other cards which here's an example here's a double dual slot card this is a four slot card so you better have room in your PC case for it. But one thing too I love about the Aorus cards is that extra size is giving it a lot of cooling. So the radiators on this card you know, should be able to perform extremely well and quiet under load. But the question is going to rely on, is it limited hash rate? I'm looking all over the card right now. I do not see any markings denoting that it would be part of the light hash rate family. So we're going to take this right now. We're going to put it in one of our computers. We're going to start up mining and we're going to see what it gives us. With the card installed, you'll immediately notice too that how PCIe is displayed right here. Version one originally only had two PCIe ports, where they thought maybe it was kind of, you know, a little bit uh, starved for power. But now with the Rev two card, there's three PCIe ports. So we'll see if that makes a difference. <laughs> Afterburner system after um, <coughs> sits some overclocks at minus 250, power 66, and gonna push the memory at about a thousand. Starting up a nice hash right now. Wow, oh my god, we got 96, 96 mega hash right out of the gun. 240 watts getting a 399 kilowatt to joule efficiency. It's very high. Let's see if it holds us up for a few minutes. Uh, I'm I'm stoked. I'm very happy. It seems like it's not limited, but I guess we have to wait a few minutes to see if to see if there's any difference. Well, again, 96.35. Mega hash right now. Let me see. I'm gonna try to boost this overclock a little bit. 1200. Ninety-seven. Okay, we're at ninety-seven mega hash, two hundred and forty-one watts, still four hundred and two kilowatts. Ninety-eight. We're at ninety-eight point one hash now, still only at like just under two hundred and fifty watts. This this is great. So it looks like we've eluded the light hash rate, um, at least with this version of the card. So hopefully we'll still be able to get some cards for a while that have good hash rates because what we're seeing and hearing is a lot of the hash rates on these cards is cut in half or at least crippled to a significant degree for ethereum but let's do our best 98.35 this keeps getting better and better so let's let this run for a little bit and come back in about um, a half hour and we'll see make sure the performance is still going good. 
Wow, this is still doing great. We're at 98.43 hash. 99. 99.15. That, that's incredible. I think the power is turned up too high on it, but let's tweak it back down. And let's see if we can keep that number. But wow, we, we can hit that number at least, so that, that's a good sign. 75%. Bring the power down a little bit, try to get our efficiency back up. I can get 99, but that's costing me 320 watts. Kind of expensive. So here we're running much softer, but we're definitely running a little bit higher on the kilohash to joule. 98.1, 257. power to 66 but I'm running memory pretty hot too I'm, and it's holding up well I'm running it up at 1200 right now just to see where the card can go normally day to day I don't run them up with memory so high I usually keep them at about a thousand but we're doing great we're at 98.18 mega hash 249 watts and 392 kilohash joule, so I think it's a success, success. This car has shown no signs of this light hash rate limiter. And, um, you know, this is definitely a lot harder than I normally would run a car, but you see it's it's holding up very, very well. Memory 88, 86, hotspot 69, 69. This looks fantastic. Um, I think my fan right now is at 75. This car is showing at 58 degrees. Still hashing into the mid 90s, but I'm using the screen right now as my primary, so definitely losing some hash by doing that. Uh, push my clock, push my power up a little bit and see what I can get out of it. Okay, so wow, here we are. We're at 99.12 mega hash. We're a little bit over 400 uh, efficiency right now on excavator. Fans are set at 75%. My clocks right now, I'm able to clock the card up higher than normal, 250 minus on the core, 67 power, 1400 on the memory, and I thought I would be seeing much higher temperatures right now, but I turned over to hardware in the flow, 64. I'm seeing my memory junctions comfortably sitting at 90 degrees Celsius, so I'm extremely happy. I don't know, maybe it's up to 92 now, but you know, maybe Gigabyte is doing some uh, you know great work with thermal paddings on the newer cards, because this is a revision too, it just came out 100 mega hash. 412 efficiency at 242 watts. And I thought, wow, is this, how's this car doing? Turn over here, look at the memory junctions. We're at 92 degrees. Fan is sitting comfortably at 65, 100.3, 404, and still under 250 watts. This is great. The sky's the limit. So I guess my fear about worrying about a light hash limiter, the light hash hash reduced card is, is is gone and now it just seems like it, this may be one of my best cards to have now so once again 100.2 consistent 247 watts memory junction temperature is 92 hot spot at night 69 this is terrific and our fans are staying comfortably down at 74 and the overall card is at 58. I'm super happy this, this car performed better than my expectations right now. We were getting over 100 mega hash. You know, memory journals, you know, memory junctions were down at like 90 degrees Celsius. Cars were running at 75% fan and it was doing great. Uh, I'm super happy. It seemed that at least I, I evaded the light hash reduced card. So the revision two of the Oris Master 3080 is, you know, thumbs up in my book from what I'm seeing right now. We're going to be reviewing this. In addition to this card, we have a lot of other cards coming. We have 3080s, 3090s, that's 3070s, 3060s, 60 Ti's. We're going to be putting together some mining rigs, showing how we power them. And this is the first of many to come. Please, you know, if you like us, press the like button, subscribe, and see you in the next video.